remember the first time you, you heard about B-52s? The first time to fly a B-52, wow. Um, well, uh, how can I explain this aircraft? I equate it to uh, herding buffalo, if you want to put it that way. It, it embodies all the senses. The smell, the sense, the vibration, the sound, all of those accumulate to make this B-52 what it is. Hundred and eighty-five feet from wingtip to wingtip, the six-jet aircraft can top six hundred miles an hour and climb to fifty thousand feet. It's a historical role that the B-52 has always played, from from Vietnam, Afghanistan, Iraq, all those areas that it's always been involved in. Capable of delivering an atomic wallop anywhere on the globe, the B-52 Stratofortress, America's heavyweight of the skies. It's the iconic war machine for the United States Air Force. Since the 50s and 60s, I mean, the B-52 has been the most feared bomber in the world. It is historic. It's older than my parents. So I know we have folks in the community who are third generation of the B-52. We always had the joke, if you push negative Gs on it, chicken bones will float out back from the Vietnam era. I mean, that's how old the airplane is. I've taken three generations of pilots and taught them how to fly this aircraft and nobody picks it up from the beginning. They have a few expertise because they say this is the most difficult plane they've ever flown. And you try to think about turning in one direction and you turn the yoke and nothing happens Then you turn it some more and nothing happens and you turn it the third time and finally the first input's catching up so it's not very nimble. The exterior of the aircraft really has not changed since 1950s. Just the, the mechanics that go into this aircraft uh, allow it to, to go year after year and the, and the hours do not degrade its ability. As a matter of fact, we're, we're programmed right now to, to last until the year 2040. That large inventory of weapons that we carry, it makes us applicable in any sort of conflict that the United States might find itself in. It's going to be around a long time because there's just nothing else that can, it's, it's a dump truck and it's nothing else that's got that type of range and capacity that can do what it does. Mm -hmm.